Because we'd been getting used to deluxe paint and you know quite converse with just making animations and stuff, we had this discussion about uh, characters and Scott Johnson, who um, was brought in to do um, backgrounds um, and he was programming higher guns as well. Um, we had this discussion about a, um, a game called Walker, which was the character from Star Wars that was actually in Blood Money. Dave wanted to take this guy and put him in a game on his own and want to have lots of little characters that he would run about and shoot. And so Scott started out drawing these guys at 16 by 16 pixels, which I said was too big because the, the walker itself wasn't that large, so they, they would be coming up past his knee, whereas I thought you wanted a lot more scale to it. So one lunchtime in the office, uh, the Amigas were free. Um, I went and tried to draw a much smaller character. Um, and again, just with the easeability of using D-Paint, you could sit on a, just a few frames, uh, make this little character animate, pick it up as a brush, and then just play the animation and play the brush so that it just put down reams of these sprites. Um, so I had this big chain of guys walking, then I drew a ground underneath them. And then, because I was bored, I drew a gun at the other end shooting them. Um, and then that's what I showed to everybody. And that's the point where everybody goes, it, you know, these guys queuing up to get killed. Um, and I think I had a couple of other deaths going on on the screen. And that's where you start going, well, the, the, that's funny, there's, there's a game in that. So I saw the idea of a game and thought, okay, you know, the appeal was lots and lots of characters on the screen, because that's what was, you know, all these, these small characters are walking up the steep slope. I thought, okay, how are we going to do lots of characters? So typically you always had to think about the technology back in those days, you know, and the Amiga was a hardware machine, so we had hardware sprites, so we thought, well, we can move a lot of those around, but actually it only had 16 hardware sprites. So we were looking at this thinking, well, I probably want a lot more than that because they were tiny and I thought the appeal was having lots of them. So I thought, you know, let's say we wanted 100. You know, how would we do that? So I thought, okay, I'll need to do like a, a technical demo um, and think about how we could get maybe 100 of these things moving around. Um, so games always started to, you know, start off really as technical demos about, you know, what would be different from a technical perspective. Um, so it was to put technical together, uh, demo together, which would show 100 you know, like the equivalent of sprites on screen. And luckily the Amiga had the Blitter chip, you know, so it, it could actually do quite good software drawing as well as just the hardware sprites. So it's kind of put together a little uh, Blitter demonstration which showed that, you know, we could actually, you know, at 30 frames per second have maybe 100 sprites moving around on screen. So, you know, um, and then from there was, they would have to follow the terrain pixel perfect because uh, they were so small and the, the terrain could, you know, could be quite complicated so it was that was kind of the demo 100 little lemmings walking around but they had to be able to follow the terrain pixely perfect and that that was the demo effectively that was put together first